And so I went down there to donate my stem cells. And so they said, let's give you some, they're, they're kind of like umbilical cord or something like that. They're a, a neutral type cell, but it doesn't stay with your body because it's not your stem cells. So it has, I think, a regenerative effect for maybe a, a few months, maybe up to 10 months, but they can't implant because they're not your stem cells. But I thought it was, it was cool that I finally got stem cells especially since that's where my work started more than two years before my son was diagnosed, before I had the idea for BioViva or anything, I was actually working in the advocacy of the use of stem cells and had not ever done them. <laughs> that, that therapy, that, I mean, that, that, that flow that you talked about taking stem cells out, that, that sounds really interesting. Um, but yeah, let me tell you why. Let me mm. tell you why I'm interested in this. I've been interested. I've been looking for a company who would do this for, well, since we started uh, BioViva. If we do gene therapy to your stem cells and we put your stem cells back in, there's there's no immune response. So you, you probably don't need an immune suppressant at all. We can do things like start targeting to the hypothalamus in which loses stem cells and loses a gene called alpha clotho. We could start developing your own stem cell lines to build muscle mass. So folistatin might not be enough for some people because they don't have the precursor stem cells available that build those muscle cells. So you will get stronger muscle fibers, but you not might not bulk up in the way that is necessary to protect your body. So. I think that this is going to be a very cool company. And again, no immune suppressant. That, yeah, that sounds really interesting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> When's it going to be available? No, but um, probably as early as next year. Um, we're working on investigator initiated clinical studies. Uh, these are studies that you can move forward quite quickly. Uh, we've worked historically with a company called IHS, they've treated many, many people with gene therapy now. Um, and this will go the same route as an IRB and an approval to use a technology. And we're also working with a premier professor in the United States who is already published in Nature. And we're gonna work with him to actually direct these therapies to the hypothalamus. And so unless something goes horribly wrong, uh, we are on track uh, to get patients in uh, in about a year. I think they've already got a waiting list of 52 people.